guys, it's Sherry and Loki, and we hope that you're having a wonderful day. Y'all, today we are going to make a super sweet craft. Stay tuned. my channel I am so glad that you decided to stop by because today we are going to do another fantastic storage idea and this time is <laughs> now I'm going to do mine for Valentine's Day but this craft truly is transferable to any season any reason any gender and here's what I'm talking about I am making these awesome cut apart storage envelopes for me but I thought I'd make it a video and bring you guys along with me because I know that you can use these as well. We all have a lot of cut aparts and by pre-cutting them, we can save us some time and by having a place to store them, we know at a glance what it is we need. So y'all know what time it is. Tell them what time it is, Loki. It's time to get started. All right, y'all, so here is a close-up look at the awesome way that I am storing the cut aparts that I'll be using in my Valentine's crafting this season. So I'll be taking this and adding it to the rolling cart system that I shared with you in the video that's linked below. But this is an awesome way to just go ahead, if you've got some time, if you know you're going to be using them as cut aparts, go ahead, cut them out, create these little folders and tuck them down inside. Now I'm using the Dollar Tree chopping mat for mine, but if you don't have Dollar Tree chopping mats, you can also use acetate or any other clear material that you have. Or the material doesn't even have to be clear. You can make this using poster board. You can also make it using your 12 by 12 decorative paper. You'll just need to adjust the measurements a little bit to fit the size paper that you're working with. But this is going to be super, super easy and oh so useful. So here's what we're going to need to make it. I am going to be using one piece of the 11 by 14 chopping mat. You get two in a pack. Then I'm just going to take some cut aparts. I have a couple of sheets here. We're going to cut those together. And then I will be using my little metal snaps on this project and you'll find these listed in the description box. So let's go ahead and score. We only need to make two scores on our chopping mats. So with our cutting mat in on the 14 inch side, we're going to score at one and seven eighths and just make sure that you dig in because you want to get a nice score on this. It's a pretty thick chopping mat. And then we'll make the second score at eight and one eighth. So I'm really dragging and driving my stylus deep into this chopping mat. So now I'm going to take this and I am just going to really crease that score. So there's one and we'll do the same thing here at the top. So when you fold it, it's going to turn white. Don't worry about that because somehow that magically goes away. Now you can adjust yours and make them any size that you want. You don't have to follow the sizes that I'm giving here, but this is a size that I am going to work with. So now that we have it like this, I am going to take my piercer and I am going to punch four holes. And I'm making the holes big enough so that I can put my little metal snaps through them. And you don't have to use metal snaps. If you happen to have some of the plastic snaps, you can use those as well. Um, I'm using the metal snaps because I think they just add an upscale cuteness to this. So I am just eyeballing my placement. And so now I have my four holes punched and your snap head is going to look like this. So you're going to have that prong. I'll take the prong 
and put it through. And then the second piece will be a mushroom head that you can take and put on top. And you can hear that snap. Then I'm going to take my hammer and just pound the two and now they are set. And then we'll just do this process on all four sides. So I'll put my mushroom head on. And now the last one. So I just punched it through that hole. I'm going to take the mushroom head, place it on, snap it into place, take my chunky little hammer, and make some noise. And now we have a nice sealed envelope. And the way that I'm going to close it is I am going to close it using some Velcro dots. And these are just Velcro dots from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to take this, put it on, remove the back from one end. Then I'll decide where I want to place it, put it down, remove the back from the other end, and then fold it over, use my big old spatula. And so now we have our envelope. Let's go ahead and cut apart the cut aparts that we're going to put inside. A lot of you have questions about what are cut aparts. Cut aparts are those sheets where you have different graphics, either two by two, four by four, three by four, six by four, or in this case, you may even have cut apart border sheets. So basically that's what a cut apart page is. And all I'm going to do is cut these apart. And when you cut them apart, you can mount them to a background mat or you can use them separately, completely up to you. So this is how we cut apart our cut aparts. And so now that I have a stack of my cut aparts, you can put them in here nice and neat if you want to, but I am just going to spread mine out and there they are on the inside. So I am going to close over this top and now I'm going to take some of these stickers that I got from Hobby Lobby, I believe, and I am just going to take one and put it down on top of my Velcro as a little embellishment. And just like that, we have two awesomely easy six by 11 storage envelopes. I'm using these that I made today for Valentine's cut apart storage, but you can make these to hold your scraps. You can make these to hold ribbon pieces, or you can place some stickers in these. Totally up to you. This is just another super easy way to help get organized and make your crafting system work better for you. So guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.